the Antiques Appraiser and star of the History Channel. I'm going to let Dr. Lori tell you where she's been. We haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> I have missed you. I've been on Oak Island, Nova Scotia. Oh my That's where I'm I've so been. Jealous. I know. A little different than Florida. Yeah, a little different than Florida. Chilly, chilly. <laughs> um, yes, I'm very happy to be um, among the team yes. that is hunting for treasure on Oak I'm Island. So You're back doing some appraisals right, for us. Right, but we right, love right. best. What do you yeah. want to start with today? You know, here and at drlorivee.com, I'm going to show you the tips, the insider scoop. That's yes. what you want to know, That's right? That's what we want to so know. So we're going to talk a little bit about 70s collectibles mm -hmm. today, right? So educate me on these educate 70s you. Okay, so some of us were there in the 70s, and some of us weren't there in the 70s. Many of you had a pet rock in the 70s. Fads are fun. They're representative of the 1970s, mm -hmm. but they are, in fact, again, not all that valuable. Yes. So if you've got a pet rock, it's got to be in good shape. But they're worth about so ten bucks. Worth, okay, not well, worth I'm, too much. I'm kind of surprised that they're worth anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> but then you know you also want to think about uh, pieces that really have stood the test of time. Mm -hmm. In the mid '70s, there was a little Muppet Frog that came uh -huh. out, and his <laughs> name was Kermit. Kermit. Yeah. Yes. And you'd be surprised because a lot of people say, "Oh, you know, that was just from my childhood. It's not all that valuable." Mm -hmm. But again, they can be relatively valuable. Just because it's not a hundred years old mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's not valuable. Right. Right. So the Kermit the Frog doll could be about. Seven $75 if yours is in good shape. Ooh, that's pretty good. The other thing that we're seeing now coming back pretty strong is, mm -hmm. of course, mid century modern furniture, including furniture Ooh, from the favorite. 70s. I love yeah. That. So, yes. like plastic molded chairs, this one worth about $450. Wow. Or the very famous womb chair and other chairs by, of course, Harry Bertoya. These nice chairs that you usually see reproduced now with the chrome, mm -hmm. of course, looking yeah. like a basket weave. Yeah. Those are worth several thousand. Those are cool. Yeah. And then if you're a movie buff, you want to think about pieces like Star Wars. Yes, we have Any, so many Star Wars fans yes. around here. Yes. Anything and everything Star Wars is going to really be hot for the 1970s. Okay. So whether it's a puzzle or whether it's a figurine, an action figure, whatever it might be. But lo and behold, if you want something from the 70s, it's op art. Ooh. Optical retinal stimulation art. Really? I'm yeah. Nice at this. Those pieces can go from the 10,000s to the 100,000s. My goodness. I love this too because if you are watching from home and maybe you're looking around your house and you're like, you know, have a piece you want to appraise, you can kind of help us out with that. Sure, you can right? go to your website, yes. right, which connects to my website, exactly. and you can always send these pictures in, whether it's through Facebook on your website or any other way, but drlorivee.com, I'll give you appraisals as well. I love it when you're here, and uh, I love to be here. one more time, I know you've been so busy, you're always traveling, you've always got something, some new project that you're working well, on. Well, I do events all over the world, and also the TV show with history, but basically, uh, you know, I have all kinds of projects that I'm doing, mainly to tell people the truth about what they've got and what it's really worth. Yes, I love it. Thank yeah. you so much. Always Thank great you. to have you back. Thanks, and honey. History Channel, be sure to tune in. This is Tuesday nights at 9. Yeah, the history of Oak Island. You won't miss it. And oh once you start watching, you're going to go, oh my God. You're going to get sucked in. Join the rest of the millions that are watching. <laughs> Dr. Lori, great Thanks. to see you again. Thanks. I'm so glad you're back. Nice to be with you. Head to our website if you want to learn more about Dr. Lori's appraisals, antiques appraisals. That's fox4morningblend.com. You know the website. Get a refreshing start to your day like we are with the Seminole Casino Hotel Immokalee. During your hotel stay, take a dip in the new pool or just grab some shade under one of the casino's tiki huts. But the Morning Blend is the only place where you can find these great mugs. The fourth person to call 239-673-3388 will receive this Morning Blend Seminole Casino mug. Now you can't win if you've won anything from Box 4 in the last 120 days. Good luck.